Hi, we're here today with Bill and Mark, and we're talking about bucket list rallies and events for fantasy RV tours. So it may be visiting a very large city like Washington, D.C., or the Calgary Stampede. Uh, Rose Parade is a marquee rally for us. Uh, Mardi Gras. So I I'm going to throw it over to you, Bill. Give me a little background on the Rose Parade and, and what you like about that event. Sure. Well, the Rose Parade is so much more than just the parade. Uh, when our guests show up there, they're treated to a whole week of events and things that include everything from uh, actually building the floats to attending to the band fest or the horse uh, competition. Equifest, yeah. The Equifest, yes. And uh, it, it's so much more than you would just go. If, you, if, you, if your bucket list was to see the parade, you would miss all these other things where we want to include that and we want to give our guests the best opportunity to do that. So Fantasy curates that entire event and they select your seats. They select very good seats. Yes. I've been to that parade before and I'm really a fan of what Fantasy does and how we get in there in a timely manner and more important, how we get out of there in a timely manner. You know, when you have a parade and 250,000 people show up to watch it, uh, so great seats. Yes. Uh, in the campground, we put up our own tent. We have our own event center right in the campground uh, with a bar and refreshments and all those things. So uh, tell me about uh, your experience in Washington, D.C. Okay, so Washington, D.C., what we do is the, the campground that we use is the hub of the wheel, if you can imagine that. And then Every day is a different trip in a different location, kind of like spokes in the wheel. Mm. So one day we're headed to Annapolis. Another day we're headed over to Arlington Cemetery. Uh, of course, we do D.C. And we have a day where you actually get to, to choose and see as many uh, the Smithsonian museums that you want to, a whole day out on the mall and stuff. Uh, we also take boat rides and, and things to introduce you to the city more than just going there and just kind of wandering around and looking up and going, wow, you know, you actually have guides that are going to tell you about the different memorials, the World War II Memorial, Vietnam Memorial, um, or the different buildings and when they were created and why they were and stuff. Uh, and it brings out some interesting facts about it that even though as a lifelong D.C. resident, I didn't know until I went oh, on tour. So it was, it was really interesting for me. The history of Washington, D.C. is amazing. Yes. Um, one of the things that we do on the tour is go to uh, Ford's Museum or Ford's Theater. Ford's Theater, yes. Um, that is quite spectacular. Quite spectacular. And we get to attend a show there and stuff, and you get to see exactly where Lincoln's body was taken across the street. And, you know, and you, again, you're learning more of the history on it, not just here it is. One of the things that got me the most was going to Fort McHenry. Uh -huh. And if you can imagine the, the British uh, during the War of 1812, the British were out in the Chesapeake Bay preparing to go into Baltimore. Right. And the only thing that stood in their way was Fort McHenry. And when you hear the Dosen talk about the battle and uh, the history of it all, it's just amazing. Absolutely. Amazing. Absolutely. And that's what I mean. It's a lot more than just seeing the buildings. So not only do you get to be in an iconic city, a lot of history, but all of your tickets, all of your transportation, everything is planned in advance. So you literally just arrive in DC and the wagon masters take care of everything. They have all your tickets for the events, the shows, the activities, when to get on and off the bus to leave the campground. Everything is planned out for you. Is that right? That is correct. From the moment you get there, you're given an itinerary uh, to know what you're going to be doing. And then your wagon master has everything coordinated for you. The biggest job you have to do is to get on the bus in the mornings. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, and that's important because some of those tickets are hard to get. Absolutely. You know, you have to get them six months in Absolutely. advance, six months in a day, in an hour, in a minute. And uh, it's nice to have somebody take care of all of that. Yes. So another uh, iconic bucket list trip for so many RVers is the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. And as many of you may know, if you've ever tried to get tickets online, literally at a minute after midnight, I don't know how many months in advance they go on sale and people get so frustrated they're sold out. One of the incredible things that Fantasy does is it builds its own campground at uh, the Fiesta. So there's no commuting in and out. You are literally right there. Now, uh, Bill, tell me a little bit about your experience with okay. the Balloon Fiesta. So we get there, and like you say, we have the, we have the tents set up, um, and 
the people are actually in the field right next to where the balloons are attempting to land. <laughs> uh, there is an area right literally behind our tent and they try to come down there. And of course, sometimes they miss and we get to catch them uh, as they come down in between the RVs. But uh, the, we shuttle them over across to the road and across the road and they go into uh, the actual field. They could be there when the balloons are lifting off in the morning. They can actually talk to the people that are doing it. They can touch the balloons and stuff. Um, as they're doing it and get to see all of the balloons that release on it. And fantasy is there in two different sessions. Um, each time they, they have a start and an end to it. So uh, it gives us an, an opportunity to bring a lot more people to that event. They could normally get tickets. You know, there's just not camping room for them. And here we are, we're camped right in the one of the best locations ever right there. And it, it's so much fun to see it. And we get up early in the morning, watch the dawn patrol to make sure the balloons are going to fly. And you get to see the glow at night times. They light up all the balloons. Our people go over there and get to do it. And the actual balloon field itself is, oh, it must be 300 yards long. And it's vendors all the way down the side. So you can get just about anything you want connected <laughs> or not connected with, with the balloon fiesta. But it, it's a wonderful experience. You would be so lost if you didn't travel in that group of having fantasy there, um, you know. And not only do we do that, but once the balloons launch, then where's your afternoon? So we take you places and let you go and see Albuquerque and stuff and go like to the Turquoise Museum and things. Um, and so we have other events planned. So you're not just waiting between hmm. morning launch and nighttime. Yeah. Oh, you know, um, so yes. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things is the uh, the dawn patrol. Yes, uh, they send up four or five balloons, and uh, it's still dark outside. And when they hit the burners, they they light up, and it's 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 pretty amazing. One of the other things that fantasy does is they cater everything. Yes, um, every meal has is catered for you there at uh, Albuquerque. Uh, the traffic in Albuquerque is really really difficult. That's why it's it's always an advantage to to be in the campground where you don't have to drive out to go see them or try to drive into the area to go see them. And fantasy also offers games and stuff, some friendly competition and stuff that we do there to you know to encourage the people to come out and visit and to sit down and network with each other and stuff. Um, you know, so they'll they'll have some friendly games and things. We'll do. Um, uh, uh, one of the events that they do is uh, they'll have entertainment come in and they'll play for during dinner time or so, you know, and, and it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun to do that. And you're, like you say, you're not traveling, you're not getting in your car, you don't have to go anywhere. Um, and, and it's all handled for you right there. And it's all taken care of. One of the things that I, I thought was interesting is they have a, a balloon pilot come and give a, a talk yes. about mm. the balloon, the burners, how it works. And, and you can expensive it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> the licensing that you need, but you have hands on. You can go look at it, touch it, and and feel it. And it's it's actually a very educational process. Sure, because it you know it's we look at it and we don't understand the mechanics behind it. You know these balloons have no way of directing each other except by the wind. And we were there when we were there. The, we were fortunate enough to see the Albuquerque box where they actually were able to go up, circle over to where we were, fly back lower down, and just keep going in this boxed area and stuff until they had to land because of lack of propane. Right. Uh, it was really fun to see that, and you could watch them. And then, of course, then they have the shapes. They have some balloons that are incredibly funny shaped and stuff. I mean, cows flying in the air, you know. My stuff. favorite shape is the Wells Fargo wagon. The Wells Fargo <laughs> wagon, yes. Yeah, that's, that's definitely cool. one of them. But they have a whole day of nothing but the shapes going up. And it's just fun to know. And we know that in advance. So we're going to tell our people, hey, you know, here it is. You may want to do it. And, you know, some of our people, the way their campers are sitting, they may not get up for Dawn Patrol, but they can look out the window and see it. You know, well, that's the other thing. Facing yeah. right yeah, in the field. Facing the balloon. Yes. yes, yeah. And our people, if they want rides, they can get rides there. There, hmm. there are some of the companies that will offer rides to, you know, to anybody that's there. And some of our people have done that, you know, that that's one of their bucket lists to, yeah. to go into and fly in a balloon and stuff. And so they have some companies that will do that and they can actually go and fly right in the balloon and stuff. So it, it's, it's very accessible to our guests. Very fun. Yeah. Very fun. So we're here talking about the Calgary Stampede. So, Bill, give us a little bit of background about how fantasy uh, works in Calgary. Sure. With fantasy, uh, if you've ever been to Calgary, you'll know that there's no campgrounds <laughs> near the event uh, where the where the actual rodeo grounds are. And if we were to 
be like uh, other some other companies. You have to park out there, get on a bus, and drive it in, and you're there the whole day, and then you go back again. Uh, with fantasy, what fantasy does is they actually build a campground, and they they build it so that everybody has enough power and stuff. They have the tents there, it's set up for for whatever, and right beside there is the train and you can get on the train you have an unlimited pass hmm. so you want to go into calgary maybe you want to go in and see the chuck wagon race which is yeah. not something that people think about when they think about the rodeo so you get on it and you go to the chuck wagon race and then okay uh, i've got dogs back so i'm going to go back for lunch you can get back on the train go right back stop at the campground you know go to lunch Take whatever, take a nap, get back in, and go back in for the evening events and stuff. You're not stuck there until a bus takes you. Mm. It makes it much more convenient for our guest um, the way they do it. And of course, Calgary has so much more than just rodeo. You know, you may not be the greatest uh, fan of bronc riding, but you maybe you really like to see the bands compete, or maybe you like to see the truck wagon races or, you know, the clowns or, or something along in that lines. And you can pick and choose because you can go as, and come back as often as you want. So that's an advantage that fantasy has definitely to go see the Calgary. And and Calgary is something that so many people have heard about. It's a great city. Yeah, and, and don't realize what all's there and stuff. Good. Anything you want to add to that, Mark? Well, one of the things about traveling with fantasy is the opportunity to meet some great people. That's one of the things that uh, that was actually surprising to me is that uh, one of the tours we made lifelong friends. Absolutely. And so when you travel with uh, other people that you know, it just makes it a lot more funner. We have large groups of people that travel from event and to event to event, and just because they enjoy each other and they all enjoy fantasy. So another bucket list trip for a lot of people is, of course, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. And uh, Fantasy does uh, tours for Mardi Gras. Yes, they and do. Again, they kind of do it in a unique way, a little different, a little than, different anybody than anybody else. else. Yes. Um, so one of the things that uh, Mardi Gras has is it's more than just a parade. There are uh, what they call crews, groups that put on their own little parades and stuff. And it's not have the delicate way to say this it's, it's <laughs> not a, as embarrassing as some of the you might be led to believe fantasy makes sure that that's not part of what we do um, we do uh, take people to see the different crews to see their costumes and meet them up personal and stuff and, and every day it could be a different group or it could be two different groups uh crew groups that are going and of course the food uh, there are lots of food and stuff at uh, Mardi Gras and things that our, our guests to get experienced with and things. Um, but it's, it is a very nice way to see Mardi Gras without worrying about uh, some of the horror stories somebody may have heard about going there, you know. Um, and, you know, our guests are, are always together and they're always taken to a safe places and they're always, you know, kept safe. And that's that's a big advantage that somebody wants to see and experience Mardi Gras without the worry. You know, um, once again, it's, you know, you when you book with fantasy, you know you're going to be in a safe spot. You know you're going to be with a good group of people. You know you're going to have a campground facilities that's going to be amenable to you. Um, and that's that's just one of the advantages of doing it as opposed to just picking up the phone book and trying to do it yeah. yourself, you know. Yeah. Yeah, fantasy takes care of all the reservations, all the planning. Absolutely. All you have to do is show up. Show up. <laughs> Just show up. Yep. Yeah. For more information on these tours and other great bucket list tours, just click the link below or head over to fantasyrvtours.com.